You are watching Kit Cabinet and this is the in bag review of the Broplan PZL50 slash 1 Just Chomp in 170 second scale. Okay, Broplan is a company that makes vac form kits. They come in the bag. I've already taken it out of the bag and put it in a Ziploc bag. Put it in a Zakje. Yeah. The PZL50-1 Paistrovje Zakwadi Lotnice, which means State Aircraft Factory. Thank you, Wikipedia. Number 50-1. This is a prototype. And then it says Jastrzap, which is apparently pronounced as Jastrzomp. Thank you, Google Translate. So let's have a look inside. Ta da! Okay, maybe I'll open it up. Well, here's the kit. It's a styrene sheet, as you uh, might expect from a vacuum, vacuum formed kit. And what you really get is a basic shape of, uh, of the plane and the detailed parts. It's, you're probably better off making them yourself. Uh, the engine, you might want to replace it. It's uh, yeah, very crude representation of an engine the propeller maybe just get another one but the basic shape of the kit is the, is there of course there's the problem that no one really knew what this um, just chomp really looked like there are only pictures of either a half finished production model without wings or just some shots of the prototype but never a complete picture so it's a bit difficult to determine whether shape and size are totally correct Artpol has now uh, also made a resin kit of this plane of course the issue remains whether it's correct in shape correct in dimensions it certainly looks nicer, but it's also like three times more expensive than this one. This one was like 12 euros, I believe. But of course, it takes a lot of work to get this thing together. With a vac form kit, you have to like cut out all the parts individually from the from the sheet styrene, and that takes some work. This is not as simple as a traditional injection kit but with some patience and some experience you might be able to take a simple vac form kit like this one it's a very small plane it's about the size of a Maki Saeta so it's not very big you can also see like this is my hand okay I have big hands but it's not a very a very big plane the canopy is also vac formed it's a bit uh, tr tricky to see because it's indeed very clear. It's nice clear plastic, nice and thin. But it's like... Ooh, you can hardly see it on camera. Let's have a look. Can get this closer. Yeah. It's a fat canopy. This huge white paper are the instructions. Uh, it's basically just an exploded view and the plane here oops to scale so you can compare it to the drawings if you're doing everything right and uh, not really a sprue map but like a styrene sheet map for the parts and there's the obligatory story. Only in Polish. Jan Kowalski got his inspiration for the Jastrząb from the alien spaceship that landed in his back garden in February 1930. I can't read this. <laughs> so this would be my second vac form kit ever. The first one was this one. And I wonder how it will work out. So I'm going to do a build review eventually of 
taking on this little kit. Oh yeah, there are no decals included in this kit, but I found this. These are decals for the planes for the, the, the Black Hawk comics, which were like airplane comics from a, a hero called Black Hawk. Uh, he was named Black Hawk because this plane is the Hawk and it was painted black in the comics. So the Black Hawk, that was their first plane of the yeah Black Hawk comics. So I found these decals. So maybe Instead of going for the Polish prototype, it's not even known whether the prototype had any markings. So actually some fictitious markings like these might be just as valid as the, the, the real markings that aren't really known.